So first of all, uh, we'll start with uh, Jake Curtis from Cal Bears Maven. Jake, questions for Ashton? Yeah, can you just give us your initial reaction to hearing the news? Uh, I was just excited, obviously. Um, I don't know how to describe it other than that. My hands were shaking. I wasn't. Um, I didn't expect myself to really get too nervous, but uh, I did, and uh, it was awesome seeing you know my parents' reaction and uh, everybody's reaction and how they uh, how they how excited they got. Okay, Jake. Any follow-ups at this time? Go ahead. Okay. Um, we'll go move to Jeff Frado, also from Cowboys Maven. Hey, Ashton. Congratulations. Thank you, you very much. Just, uh, tell us who who called you, who contacted you, and and what did they say? And then who have you spoken with um, with the Jets since that uh, since you got the news? Well, it was a it was a bunch of people. It was a conference call. Um, they gave me a call and kind of passed uh, passed it around, passed the uh, phone around. But um, I spoke with pretty much everybody on the defensive side of the ball um, and the head coach, and uh, then hopped on and did some media stuff with them and. Uh, it's kind of just I've been pulled in a lot of different directions since then and just trying to, you know, adjust and um, kind of, you know, get to everybody that I can. And what did they tell you? Um, I can't even remember off the top of my head. They just he said, hey, I'm from the Jets. Um, we're looking for this kind of guy. And um, do we make the right selection? And I said, it sounds like you're on the phone with the right guy. Um, and that was that's about all I can remember. Well, Ashton, if you could center your uh, video just a little, yeah, there, you're, yeah, you're pretty center. There you go. Uh, okay, we'll move on. Jasper, questions for Jasper from the Daily Cal. Absolutely. Um, hey, uh, like everyone else is saying, congratulations. Um, real quick, uh, what, are your, what are your first thoughts on going to a team like the Jets with a player like, I mean, Jamal Adams, who shares your position? Yeah. Um, I'm just, uh, I don't know, I'm excited to go to somewhere where there's, um, you know, guys that are established guys and guys that are obviously know what they're doing and um, have, been, have had some success and learn behind those guys and just, you know, try to soak up as much knowledge as, uh, as I can. Jasper, any follow-ups for now? Yeah, um, Jasper, can I hop in real quick? Oh, yeah, of course, man, you're my boss. Go ahead, yeah. Josh. Hey, Ashton, first of all, congratulations. Um, Leading up to the, the draft process, um, I can imagine a few teams were in touch with you. Were the Jets one of them? Was this sort of a surprise or, or a team that you knew was interested in you? Um, it was a little bit of a surprise. There was uh, a lot of teams reaching out to me. Um, so, uh, you know, the Jets had reached out to me before, but, they, you know, there was, there was a couple of teams that were showing particular interest, but um, the Jets weren't necessarily one of them, but they were definitely one that has been in contact with me. So I really didn't know what to expect going in. Josh or Jasper, do either one of you guys have a follow-up from the Daily Cal for right now? Um, not now, no. Okay. Uh, next, David Bush from Bear Insider. David? Yeah, uh, Ashton, uh, do you know anything about the, the Jets' defense, their personnel, their schemes, or anything? Uh, going not, in? A whole, not a whole lot. I would watch uh, Jamal Adams and some, some sort of, uh, you know, different, different schemes. But as far as uh, what they like to do, um, I'm, I'm not up to speed on that quite yet. Now, did they tell you give, give you any specifics when all those conversations you had to, tonight as, as to what their plans are? No, no. We haven't talked about that yet. Okay. Uh, we'll give everybody one chance at the end, but uh, Trace Travers, we'll move on to Trace from Rivals. Hey, Ashton, congratulations again, as Thank everybody's you. saying. Uh, what exactly is your next move from here? I know everybody's kind of locked down with – the pandemic and everything but what are you able to do now as far as preparation for moving across the country well I know I know the vets are starting on Monday and I want to start as soon as possible with whatever I can do um, whether that's just film stuff whether that's you know I'm going to go on to get go and get on a field tomorrow uh, I'm just I'm I'm hyped up and I'm, I'm ready to get started Trace any follow-ups yeah, just uh, what has the reaction from, say, your teammates been like for you at this point? Has your phone stopped buzzing? My phone's still going off as we talk right now. I'm getting the alerts coming in. Um, so I'm, I, I spent the last um, 15 minutes. I got home and um, so the last 15 minutes trying to respond to everybody I could and um, just trying to enjoy it for right now. But uh, they're, they're super happy for me. Everybody's, uh, everybody's super pumped and, um, yeah. 
Thank you. Okay, I think uh, next up would be Jackson Moore from uh, 24-7. Ashton, uh, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, when you hear the name the New York Jets come up, um, I mean, what were the first things you were looking to find out and have you gained that knowledge over the last 90 minutes? Well, I mean, obviously talking about the Jets defense, they're some of the, you know, they're, they're a team that's dramatically improved their defense and um, played really well the last few years. So, uh, like I said, I'm excited to get behind, um, you know, to be behind two guys that know what they're doing and do it really well. And uh, like I said before, soak up as much knowledge as I can and try to, um, you know, help out any way I can. Jackson, any follow-ups? No, thank you. Okay, I think Curtis, do we have a Curtis on? Yeah, no questions. Okay. Um, I mean, Jim McGill, Jim, questions. Congratulations, Aston. Uh, great, great news getting picked tonight. Um, so you've got a very unique story that had a chance to tell a decent amount since the beginning of this season. Have you had a brief chance in these last hour and a half, two hours or so to, to think about how it's come full circle for you, um, not being recruited necessarily to play football or run track, but to be extremely successful in both and now to have the chance to achieve your dreams in the NFL? No, I haven't. I haven't sat back and you know thought about that yet. Maybe tonight when I lay my head on that pillow. But um, for me, this was you know this is a huge accolade, and I'm super grateful and uh, thankful for the all, all the opportunities people have given me. But uh, this is you know this is just the start of the journey, um, and I'm I'm not ready to I'm not about to slow down now. So um, I haven't reflected on it yet. I'm sure it'll come tonight when I when I lay my head on that pillow. Um, but yeah, it's just things are moving really fast right now. Athletic talents like you and like Patrick that came in um, sort of the hard way. What do you have to say to, to young athletes that are coming in in similar situations about achieving their dreams? People aren't expecting it. Just perseverance. I don't know. Bet on yourself. Um, if you, you know, if you know that you can make something happen, then do whatever you can to, to make sure, you know, put yourself in a position to win. Jim, any follow-ups? No, thanks. Okay. Okay, guys, what we're going to do, we're going to go through a final time and give guys a chance to ask a final question or two. Um, so if you do have a question, make sure you answer it on the second round through real quick. We'll go ahead and go back to Jake to start. And if I go in a different order, it's just because I can't see the computer that well, so not reading it right. So we'll get you. Uh, Jake, anything final for Ashton? Yeah. Uh, I would assume your, your speed and agility was one of your – great assets did the fact that you didn't get a Cal pro day do you think that impacted your draft at all yeah I certainly think it um, hurt me a bit but um, like I like I said in other interviews um, perspective uh, that you know my problems are very small compared to a lot of people um, there's you know there's some other people that are dying from what's going on right now and I think that's important to keep in mind so um, I was fortunate enough to still be given an opportunity and uh, yeah I'm, I'm gonna run with it Jake, anything else for Ashton? That's good. Okay. Uh, Jeff Rado? Hey, Ashton. Um, how frustrating, uh, given that you have the context that you do, which is great, but how frustrating has it been at times to, to not be able to do everything you expected to do in the, over the past month? And, and what have you been able to do, both in terms of training and in terms of communicating with the teams that maybe were looking at you? Well, I'm do, do, was doing a lot of Zoom meetings and things of that nature, um, working out in my apartment and, uh, you know, sneaking onto a field when I needed to to get some position work in and as often as I could. But, yeah, for the most part, uh, just a lot of Zoom meetings and a lot of uh, workouts in my apartment. And did you have Zoom meetings with the Jets? Uh, I had Zoom meetings with upwards of 20 teams. I do not believe the Jets was one of them. So given that – somewhat surprised that they picked you um a little bit I mean I I you know I had a really good meeting with them at uh, the combine and so uh not not that surprising but uh you know I'm, I'm I'm excited I'm just excited thank you thank you well you guys good you and Jake okay we'll go on move on to Jasper or Josh either one of you guys from the Daily Cal um, yeah, I'm sure Josh has a couple more, but uh, um, a 
two questions looking back, what has sort of stood out to you from this whole process? I mean, from um, the sort of the combine and, and being sort of a, a top draft prospect um, all the way up through today, what are, what are some things that have, I mean, I don't know, surprised, stood out, impacted you? Um, what are some goals you have um, for your first year? Um, so as far as things that impact me, I was surprised that, you know, kind of in awe of all the, the combine, uh, things that we were, you know, doing, but, um, some of my goals, I just want to be an immediate impact, whether that be on defense, special teams, whatever the case is, I, I want to have an immediate impact and, um, help us, you know, win. Okay. Uh, Josh or, uh, Josh for any final things? Uh, I think I'm good, actually. Thanks so much, Ashton and Kyle. Uh, look yeah, thank to... you. Okay. Uh, David Bush. Uh, yeah, just one quick thing. Did they say anything to you, uh, Ashton, about uh, returning kicks? Nope. You think that's a possibility, though? I'll do whatever they ask me to do. Okay. Okay. I'm good. We'll stick thanks. with the Bear, and Bear Insider. Anything else, Jim? I'm good, thanks. Okay. Um, and now Trace Travers, move on to Trace. I am good. Thanks, Kyle. Thanks, Ashton, and good luck. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, Jackson Moore, anything else for, from Jackson or Curtis? Uh, one question, Ashton. Uh, they're calling you the mystery man on TV and some other outlets. Just what would you like the Jets fans and NFL fans in general that don't know you as well as the Bay Area does to know about you? Um, I'm no stranger to adversity, you know, as a walk-on. Um, I'm used to clawing my way, and uh, I'll do whatever it takes to to, to help a Jets Nation win. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, everybody good? Any final questions for Ashton? Yeah, Ashton, if I could just ask uh, – this is Jeff again. If I could ask you one question. You didn't get to run the 40 for the Jets, um, and that's that's presumably something you can do pretty well – if you went out there to run it for them in the next week, what sort of time do you think you could run? <laughs> well, uh, like I said, it's been hard to get on field, so I'm a little out of shape, but I think I could still run a 4-4 right now. Um, you know, if I had two months to train uh, like you typically do, I think, uh, I think I could run a pretty, pretty special time for a safety. Um, but unfortunately, that wasn't the case. So, I mean, maybe we'll never know. And if they put some hurdles out there? Uh, I imagine it'd be a little bit slower, but not too much. I'm, uh, I got a decent, uh, decent grasp on the hurdles.